What's up? I'm sitting on the floor of my room and I have my phone in a different angle because this is a very chill sit down kind of a video that I wanted to do today. And I just want to say before we get into the video, I don't really make a lot of videos like this, um, but I just want to get um, personal with you guys for a second and then we'll get on into the video. I just want to say that I want to be that, that YouTuber that you guys can come to on this channel and escape. Escape from whatever's going on in your life. I want to make you guys smile. I want to make you guys laugh I want to make you guys, you know, forget about what's going on in your lives And I want to be a place for you guys to come to and I want this channel to be a positive and happy Environment and I want everybody, you know, to love my videos and to love what I'm putting out for you guys That's why I make these videos because I love making content for you guys and I love what I do and I love being a fangirl and I love showing you guys basically my fangirl life and I document, try to document everything. So if you are new, please consider subscribing if you like fangirl videos and all that. So let's just get on into this video. So these are 13 reasons why you, yes you, the person who is watching this video, matter. And I wish somebody would have told me my past. I wish someone would have told my past self these reasons. So we're gonna go on ahead and get into these 13 reasons why you matter. Number one, be yourself and don't worry about what others think of you. This was a complete struggle for me growing up because I always cared about what everyone thought about me. I always was like, I wonder what this person thinks about me. I've learned you know, in my 21 years of being on this planet, that it doesn't matter what people think about you. Just be yourself and everyone will love you for who you are. You don't have to be fake and pretend to be someone you're not. Just be you and, I mean, people are dumb if they don't love who you are. You know, you just, you don't try to pretend to be someone you're not. It's just not healthy. Number two, put yourself out there and be bold try new things like if you're afraid to talk to your crush go talk to your crush walk up to him and be like hey how you doing today make him feel good and you know let him know that you know you're there to talk to him you know kind of let him you know know that hey how you doing let him notice you and try new foods you know try to try new things that you never thought you would like you know try to you know be, you know, out there. Try to break out of your shell a little bit. Number three, be open to try new things. See, this has been hard for me because I've always grew up as a shy girl. And let me tell you something. I have come such a long way, you know, with being on YouTube and also, you know, having a part-time job. My part-time job working has really helped break out of my shell with being shy. And I'm so happy with the person that I have become to this day. And I just want to thank you guys so much for helping me break out of my shell. It really has helped and it means a lot. Number five, four, learn from your mistakes and grow. Now, I know a lot of you have made mistakes. I mean, everybody has made mistakes. I have. I'm not perfect. Um, just make sure that when you do make your mistakes, that you, when you realize that you've made a mistake, that you try to learn from it and grow as a person, that would, that's what makes you who you are, is you learn from what you have done in the past and you say, well, stay away from this person and learn from your mistakes and it makes you who you are, your mistakes. Number five, don't waste your time on people who push you away. Now, I have experienced this. I'm not going to drop any names because that's rude and I'm not about that. I'm not about being rude, but I had this this guy in my life. He's not in my life anymore. He was in my life. He was my, we'll just say friend. He was my friend and I tried to be the best friend I could to him. I was always there for him. I, you know, was honest with him. I tried to be there, you know, when he needed me. And basically what had happened was in the end, he just kind of, said, I don't have time for your friendship. I don't have time for you. 
I only had time for a few friends. And basically he took whatever he was going through out on me, which is not nice, and he pushed me away and just pushed me out of his life. And let me tell you something, guys, that hurt me so bad. And I still have, like, you can say you're sorry all you want, but I'm never going to forgive what, I'm never going to forget what you did. And it really hurt me. And it makes me just never want to talk to you again. So just understand that if people are in your life and they push you away, cut them out of your life. They're not worth it. Those kind of people just aren't worth having in your life. Number six, be positive and try to smile more. Try to, when you wake up in the morning, be like, oh my God, it's a beautiful day. I thank God that I'm alive. I'm still breathing. Life is good. Even though if you might be going through a lot, just try to smile and don't fake your way through life because I have done that and I just find it just, it just sucks. Don't try to fake your way. If you need to talk to somebody, you can always DM me, guys. My social media is in the description and at the end of this video, my Twitter, Instagram, um, and my um, personal um, Instagram and my Facebook. You guys can always talk to me. I'm always open for discussion. I love talking to my subscribers. It's amazing and you guys are fantastic. So try to be as positive as you can. Surround yourself with positive people and all that. Number seven, everyone is beautiful. Whether you're a girl, a guy, whatever you are, you're beautiful. The person, you know, who you are is beautiful on the inside and out. And I know like I always say like whenever I'm like fancy and I'm dressed up and like my dad says that I look beautiful. I always try to take it as a compliment because it is a compliment. So try to, you know, everyone is beautiful in their own way, in their own unique way and try to embrace it. Try to be, you know, yourself, be who you are. That's basically number eight, be who you want to be. If you want to be a fangirl, be a fangirl. If you want to be a YouTuber, be a YouTuber. Be you and post your videos, post your content on YouTube. I mean, I've been doing um, YouTube for a little over a year now, going on two years, and it's been an amazing journey. I've loved it, and I'm gonna continue this journey for the rest of my life. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Um, but just be who you wanna be. Be who you think is the best version of yourself, and go with it. Number nine, surround yourself with good friends. This is very important. Try to surround yourself with good people. People that actually care about you and they actually ask how you're doing and they care about your well-being. Don't surround yourself with people that are going to tear you down and make you feel negative. That's not a good thing. Try to surround yourself with good people that care about you and they love you for who you are. And that'll make you feel good if you surround yourself with people that actually care. Number 10, it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to wake up and be sad. It's okay to say, man, I'm having a bad day. We all have bad days. I've had plenty of bad days. And you know, sometimes I just wake up and I'm just having a bad day. You know, it's okay to have bad days, everyone. We all do, I do, you know, it's okay. Number 11, be honest with yourself. Try to like, if you have a problem, admit it to yourself. Be like, man, I have this problem that it's been, you know, bottled up inside. Just be honest with yourself and it will make your, it will make your conscience feel better and it'll make you grow as a person. So being honest with yourself is extremely important. Number 12, try to be happy. Try to, you know, wake up every day and be happy that you're alive and be happy that you're living and you're breathing and, you know, you're still on this planet because everyone has a purpose in life. Everybody is here for a reason and try to remember that. And the last reason why you matter is try to stay grounded and try to stay strong. If you're going through a lot of crap, try to remember how you got here. Remember who you are and understand that it's okay like i said to have bad days just be strong about it and it will eventually get better if you're going through something it will get better i promise and it may not seem like that right now but i promise you it definitely will get better and my last i'm going to throw in an extra one cut negative people out of your life cut them out if they're toxic to you cut them out they don't deserve your friendship they don't deserve you in your life in their life if they want to cut you out 
it's their loss. So try to remember to surround yourself with good people and cut those negative people out of your life. You don't need them. All you need is happiness in, in your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed these 13 reasons why you matter. I know um, I just want to be that YouTuber that brings you guys light and I want to make everybody happy and help you guys through whatever you're going through. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to be yourself because everybody else is taken. And go ahead and make sure you guys put video requests below. I think tomorrow I'm going to film a purpose tour stadiums. Do's and don'ts for those of you that are going to see Justin for the stadium tour. Um, I am not because he's not coming to Florida for the second leg, which is fine. I'm kind of, a, it's fine. I will see you guys in my next video and I love you guys so very much. And I hope these reasons helped you. Like I said at the beginning, I wish I would have told my past self these reasons. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love ya.